Hi friends, it's Erica. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. If you are not subscribed, please make sure to do so. I post videos every week about mindfulness, spirituality, and positivity, all the good stuff. Today's video, as you can tell by the title, is going to be all about podcasts because I've been listening to podcasts consistently for about two years now and I probably listen to one every single day. My favorite genres of podcasts to listen to are spirituality and self-growth. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my favorite podcast that I like to listen to on a regular basis and I hope you guys discover a new one today. If you have any recommendations for me, please leave them in a comment below because I love finding new podcasts and new people to listen to. Some of these episodes from these podcasts have changed my life in the best way possible. Without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy this. Give it a thumbs up if you do, and if you want to see a part two to this video in the future, I guess let's just get right into it. So the first podcast I want to talk about is called Your Own Magic. This one I would say falls more into the spirituality genre of podcasts. It started off hosted by two incredible, incredible souls, Ali Michelle and Raquel Mantra. Now it is only hosted by Raquel, but it is still so good. Like the guest she brings on are so insightful. I love Raquel. She's such an amazing host. You can just tell how down to earth she is and she interviews feels so gracefully and the way she speaks is just even like poetic. I'm telling you guys, I've learned so much about myself through the insight of the guests that she brings on the show. The next podcast I want to talk about is called The School of Greatness with Lewis Howes. This one I would classify more under the self-development slash personal growth, even a little bit of business category. It's very just inspirational, honestly. Like the guests that Lewis brings on are just so diverse. Like there are so many different people that Lewis has had on his show. I think that's one of the reasons I love it so much is because there's so many different perspectives and so many different people telling their stories and their experience with life itself. The School of Greatness, I recommend to all my friends, everyone who asked me what podcast they should listen to, I recommend them that one because I think that one is a podcast that anyone can benefit from, like, no matter what your interests are, no matter where you are in your life, whatever, like that podcast is so good. One of my favorite episodes, because I've listened to some of the episodes twice because of how good they are, a few of the episodes I would suggest from The School of Greatness are the episode with Dan Millman, the episode with Marissa Peer, the episode with Jay Shetty, I also really like the episode with Erwin McManus, and there's another one with a comedian named Kyle, but I can't remember his last name. Those are just some of my favorite episodes from that podcast, but you could listen to any and I'm sure they would impact you in some way. Next, I want to talk about Jay Shetty's new podcast called On Purpose. This podcast is fairly new. It came out about a month ago, I want to say. I've been keeping up with every episode because I just love Jay Shetty so much. I think he is so wise. If you haven't seen Jay Shetty's YouTube videos, you should definitely check them out. Most of them are these short films, but they're very like impactful and they always have like a deeper message behind them. I feel like that podcast, I would also say, is more of a self-growth podcast, even though he does kind of touch a little bit on spirituality sometimes as well. The next one I've written down in my little journal here is The Minimalist Podcast. I found out about this podcast after watching the documentary called Minimalism on Netflix. The two guys who made that documentary have this podcast that they host now called The Minimalist Podcast. It's not your typical podcast style where they bring someone on and interview them. It's more so they have people submit questions. The two guys, Josh and Ryan, will answer the questions that people send in and they'll bring on a guest to also help them answer those questions sometimes. But basically it's just kind of like an advice column almost. Just by listening to their episodes you can just tell what kind of guys they are. They're so genuine and down to earth and they really just want to help people live a better life. A more meaningful life is really what they stress. I think that is something so important that we should all kind of think more about is like what are we consuming and why are we consuming it? Is it because we're trying to fill a void within ourselves or is it because we genuinely 
think it's going to spark joy in our life, you know? I don't know, it just really makes you think. I really admire the way they speak and the way they kind of incorporate minimalism into conversation. You know, it's not the stereotypical minimalism that everybody has this like very extremist idea of doing things and surrounding yourself with people that mean something to you, that are adding value to your life. Check out the Minimalist Podcast, it's very, very good. The next podcast I want to talk about is more in the spirituality category because it is Deepak Chopra's new podcast. This one's also fairly new. It's called Infinite Potential. This is a podcast I listen to when I just kind of start questioning my whole entire existence and just the whole idea of a planet and consciousness and everything. Deepak Chopra is amazing. He's one of my favorite authors. I've read several of his books and I've listened to several of his speeches and stuff and he is just so... he's like beyond the word wise. Like I don't even know how to describe him anymore. Yeah, the way he just speaks about consciousness and about why we're all here and how this life came to be and how it works just blows my mind and if you're into that kind of mind-blowing stuff <laughs> check out this podcast because it's super interesting and he has brought on like doctors and stuff yeah it's really just um thought-provoking i guess i would say it's definitely one that i have to pay more attention to as i listen to it though because if not i won't grasp anything that he says and i'll have to keep skipping back Kind of following along those lines, Aubrey Marcus has a podcast and it's called the Aubrey Marcus Podcast. That one is also a bit mind-blowing sometimes, but it is really, really cool. He brings on some interesting guests and um, they also probably will make you question your whole entire life. Definitely have an open mind when you listen to these two podcasts but I think that you can learn a lot and they can probably change your perspective on life. Next, I have another one, kind of more in the spirituality genre, and it's called Ancient Wisdom Today. It's hosted by Shaman Durek. I love Shaman Durek. Like, he is just the epitome of what love is. I love the way he speaks. Like, if you just listen, you'll know what I mean because he just talks as if, like, he's virtually giving you a hug. He's just so uplifting and encouraging and he even does like guided meditations on his podcast. When I want to be in a good mood, I listen to him. Like there's no way to listen to him and not just feel the good energy. His podcast is called Ancient Wisdom Today. Go check it out. The last podcast I want to share with you guys today, I would categorize as both personal growth and spirituality. It's my girl Oprah's podcast, which is called Oprah's Super Soul Conversations. Like Lewis Howes, Oprah also brings on spiritual teachers, but then she also brings on people who are just really inspirational, who have this amazing story. So you're kind of both inspired and taught things. Obviously Oprah herself is very wise. Having the two energies from her and then the interviewee, like it's just very insightful. I love all her episodes with like Eckhart Tolle. She even brings on celebrities. Her episode with Amy Schumer is really good too. That is the last podcast I'm going to recommend to you all today. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found some new podcasts to go listen to. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Thank you for spending time with me today. If you want to see more videos like this, give this video a thumbs up or let me know in a comment below. Follow me on my social media. I have Instagram and Snapchat. And always remember to be here, be still, and be love. Bye guys.